So the day when I get up, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to expect a nice day, but that's not always the case, as we all know. So I'm, I'm trying to prepare myself mentally and emotionally for anything, but uh, that doesn't always happen. You always get surprised, sometimes in a good way, sometimes in a bad way. You never know what the day's got in plan for you, so you've got to be ready for everything. Having the right tool and the right crew is always very important. Santana. I'm a lieutenant with Miami Dade Fire Rescue, paramedic and a rescue diver. So Miami's full of water. There's uh, canals, lakes, and we've had some actually, some, some vehicles go into the ocean. I'd say most of our dive calls are cars that drive into a canal off the highway or off the road. They end up in a canal. A lot of times they're upside down. My biggest concern is not so much alligators or sharks in the ocean. When I get a call, the most concerning thing to me would be an, a self-entanglement or an entanglement of my crew. A lot of the dive hazards that we have are entanglements. We have capsized vessels with people still stuck in them where fishing lines and cast nets and dock lines are still hanging from the boat where I personally have had entanglements where I've had to cut some fishing line off of me because I get tangled in my gear. In South Florida, it's, it's we have water everywhere. So people will drop jet skis in the middle of a canal. We have, we go out to the Everglades and people decide to dump cars in the Everglades or get into accidents in the Everglades. Therefore, we have to check that car out, to make sure that nobody's in there. I, I've been diving since 1989. My instructor always said, don't ever go in the water without a tool. And I've always remembered that. Then funny thing, in 1996, I started being a diver with a department here. And the guy that was in charge of the dive told me the same thing. So it, it, the guys that know, know. There's a lot of hazards, limited visibility, getting lost during a search. Some of these cars go in submerged and all the windows are up. So let's say the person's knocked out unconscious, they're seat belted in. We have to cut through those seat belts. It gets dark under there. Not all our cars are bright daylight and uh, or crystal clear blue waters. It's always dark and murky. I believe it's essential to have the appropriate tool for the job because it can make the difference whether you come up from a dive or not. Dependability and quality of a tool is essential. Even if we have the right tool for the job, but it fails, essentially we didn't have the tool. I'm sure it gets pretty rough. And we had an actual uh, incident where the, the line we had for the divers got tangled with a prop. And if it wasn't for having a tool, we would have a, a big issue. Because the boat goes bobbing up and down, and the, uh, that's a very dangerous situation because while you're trying to remove that line or cut it, the boat would come down and hit you in the head. In our line of work, saving lives is all about time. And having the right tool for the job could mean the difference between life and death. I've lived here all my life, and I love the city. I love the county. And all I want to do is help whoever needs help.